Mod, hello, eSchool Cambodia students. I'd like to welcome you back. This is Teacher Charles, or Mr. McCall, if we want to say it the American way. Let me erase all of this. We don't need this from our last lesson. Greenwich Mean Time, time zones. Add an hour, take an hour away. Add a day, take a day away. Woo, yamong. Sometimes it can be confusing. And so when you call someone in another country, I check the internet. Actually, uh, on my phone, I have an, uh, an app, and on my phone, I can check the, uh, what time is it? You can type, what time is it in Singapore? What time is it in Tokyo? And so I do that all the time when I'm uh, making, making phone calls to other countries to make sure that I don't wake people up at 4 a.m. Okay, like John did, <laughs> like John did to Debbie. Okay, so we are uh, still on page 29. We're on exercise number four, and we're on listening. Okay, and so look at the picture, and what do you see in the picture? What do you see? How many people do you see? Okay, you see two people, uh, a man and a woman, Okay, the man's name is Eric, and the woman's name is Tracy. Where are they? Where are they? Are they at the beach? Are they at home, you think? No, it looks like they're in an office. And what's Tracy doing? Tracy's talking on the telephone. By the way, what kind of shoes is Tracy wearing? Look at her shoes. What kind of shoes are those? Those are called high heels. Tracy is wearing high heels. Present continuous tense. Tracy is wearing high heels. Present continuous tense. Tracy is making a phone call. Present continuous tense. Tracy is sitting down. And what about Eric? What kind of clothes is Eric wearing? Wearing is Eric wearing? Eric is wearing a suit. Okay, he's wearing a suit, and so Eric must be a businessman. So present tense: Eric is standing, and Eric is wearing a suit. Okay, so we don't want to say Tracy wears high heels. Tracy makes a phone call. Eric stands. Eric wears a suit. No, we want to wear, we say it uh, using present continuous tense. So will you say this after me? Tracy is sitting down. Tracy and Eric are working in an office. Tracy and Eric are working in an office. Tracy is wearing high heels. Tracy is making a phone call. Eric is wearing a suit. Eric is standing. Eric is looking at Tracy. <laughs> okay, and so they're making a phone call. And so what's happening is uh, Eric and Tracy are calling their business partners in different places in the world. Okay, so that's what's happening in this picture. Eric and Tracy are making phone calls to their business partners in different places of the world. So this is practicing your listening. So we want to know, pay attention. You should have your book, you should have a pen, or you should at least have your writing book. And we want to know what time is it in Vancouver? What time is it in Bangkok? What time is it in Tokyo? What time is it in Sao Paulo? Okay, so I'm going to read you four conversations. Listen to the conversation. The conversations are not in your book. I have them. So watch me, listen to me. The first question is, what time is it in Vancouver? Hi Zoe, how are you doing? 
I'm doing great, Tracy. Thanks for calling. How are things in Vancouver? Well, it's 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. I just finished work and I'm going to the gym. How about you? It's 6 p.m. here in Dallas. I just finished my class and I was thinking about you. Okay, I'm going to read it again. This time you practice saying it after me. Follow my intonation, follow my pronunciation, follow my pause. Say it like me so you will be speaking American English. Hi Zoe, how is on the Itam Lakuru? No my nigye pisong le by American. Hi Zoe, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Tracy. Thanks for calling. How are things in Vancouver? Well, it's 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. Well, it's 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. I just finished work and I'm going to the gym. I just finished work and I'm going to the gym. How about you? It's 6 p.m. here in Dallas. I just finished my class and I was thinking about you. It's 6 p.m. here in Dallas. I just finished my class and I was thinking about you. So, what time is it in Vancouver? Did you listen to me? Okay, it's 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon in Vancouver. So you can write 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon in Vancouver. Eric and Tracy are in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas is the middle of the United States. Vancouver is in Canada and Vancouver is to the west of Dallas. Okay, let's listen to another conversation. And this time, let's see, we want Bangkok. Let me find the correct conversation here. Okay, here it is. Okay. Hi Da, how are you this morning? Did I wake you up? Good morning Tracy, or should I say good evening? It's 6 p.m. on Monday here in Bangkok, and it's 6 p.m. in Dallas, correct? That's correct. Hey, I just wanted to ask when you will be coming to the United States. I'm looking forward to spending time with you. Yeah, I'll have to confirm later on that. I've had some things come up, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, listen to me read it again. Da is in Bangkok. What time is it in Bangkok? Hi Da, how are you this morning? Did I wake you up? Good morning, Tracy, or should I say good evening? It's 6 a.m. on Monday here in Bangkok and at 6 p.m. in Dallas, correct? That's correct. Hey, I just wanted to ask, when will you be coming to the United States? I'm looking forward to spending time with you. Yeah, I'll have to confirm later on that. I've had some things come up, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, so what time is it in Bangkok? It's 6 a.m. Monday, 6 in the morning, Monday in Bangkok, and it's 6 p.m. in Dallas. Okay, let's take a look at Tokyo. Okay, listen to me how I say it. I'll read it twice. The first time I'll read it for you to listen. The second time, I'll read it for you to say along with me. Hi, Katsumi. Did you wake up yet? I'm sorry. Hi, Katsumi. Did I wake you up? No problem, Eric. It's 8 a.m. on Monday here in Tokyo. I just arrived at the office. How about you? It's 6 p.m. on Sunday here in Dallas. Do you have a few minutes? Sure. Let me get my computer set up. Thanks. I want to ask about the project. What can you tell me? 
Well, I'm working on it every day, and it's about 80% finished. I think one more week and it will be finished. Okay, I'll say this again, now you say it after me. Remember, what time is it in Tokyo, Japan? So you need time to crew. Hi Katsumi, did I wake you up? No problem, Eric. It's 8 a.m. on Monday here in Tokyo. I just arrived at the office. How about you? It's 6 p.m. on Sunday here in Dallas. Do you have a few minutes? Wrong it. It's 6 p.m. on Sunday here in Dallas. It's 6 p.m. on Sunday here in Dallas. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, let me get my computer set up. Thanks. I wanted to ask about the project. What can you tell me? Thanks. I wanted to ask about the project. What can you tell me? Well, I'm working on it every day, and it's about 80% finished. I think one more week, and it will be finished. Okay, what time is it in Tokyo? It's 8 a.m. on Monday in Tokyo. It's 6 p.m. on Sunday in Dallas. Okay, because of the, the change in time according to the time zone and because of the international dateline. Tokyo, Japan is on the, the uh, west side of the international dateline and Dallas, Texas is on the east side. So the conversation crosses over the international dateline and it changes the day. Okay, let's look at Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is where? Sao Paulo is in Brazil. Okay, so what time is it in Brazil? Eric and Pablo are having a conversation. Hi Pablo, I'm sorry for calling so late. No problem Eric, what's up? It's only 8 p.m. here in Sao Paulo. I'm wondering if I can get a conference call with me, you, Tracy, and Da in Bangkok. I'm hoping to finish up the next part of our project. Sure, we can do that. We just have to figure out what the best time is for all of us, since we all live in different time zones. Okay, I'll send out some different options for us to choose from. Thanks so much, Pablo. Okay, so, Niitam Lokru. Hi, Pablo. I'm sorry for calling so late. Hi Pablo, I'm sorry for calling so late. No problem Eric, what's up? It's only 8 p.m. here in Sao Paulo. I'm wondering if I can get a conference call. I'm wondering if I can get a conference call with you, Tracy, and Da in Bangkok. I'm hoping to finish up the next part of our project. I'm hoping to finish up the next part of our project. Sure, we can do that. Sure, we can do that. We just have to figure out what the best time for all of us is, since we live in different time zones. Sure, we can do that. We just have to figure out what the best time for all of us is, since we live in different time zones. I'll send out some different options for us to choose from. Thanks so much, Pablo. I'll send out some different options for us to choose from. Thanks so much, Pablo. Okay, so what time is it in Sao Paulo? It's 8 p.m. Sunday. Okay, so Vancouver, it's 4 p.m. Bangkok, it's 6 a.m. Tokyo, it's 8 a.m. And Sao Paulo, it's 8 p.m. And so why is that? Why is the time different? Because we have time zones, different time zones all over the world to make the time consistent. The hour is different 
but the minute is the same in almost all of the time zone. Makes it easy to communicate with one another. Okay, so let's take a break. You think about that. And no homework for right now. Take a rest and then we'll move on to the next lesson.